everyone, my name is Andrea and this is Kursi and in today's video I want to talk about chow chows and what it means to groom them and take care of them. Kursi is a three and a half month old chow chow, he's about 14 weeks now and taking care of chow chows can be quite difficult or more demanding than other short haired breeds. I want to make this video where I'm going to show you what we do on a weekly basis, how much time it takes, and how the time it takes developed over the past seven weeks that Kulfi's been with us. There's three different things that we have to do a couple times a week with Kulfi. One of them is brushing his double coat, because chow chows are double coated, and whenever they, their coat doesn't get brushed, it could get matted, and then it might have to get shaved off. Whenever a chow gets shaved off, it's really hard and it takes a really long time for the fur to grow back. So it's something that can be quite risky. What I do about three to four times a week, depending on the season and how much he's shedding, is I take one of these brushes that I have, which has kind of wide bristles and narrow bristles, and I brush him out completely on both sides and on his tummy and on his chest. This is important because this will take out all the fur that he's shedding and then he will shed less throughout the day when we're petting him. And it's just also another way to keep his fur clean and tidy. I've done this actually this morning and it looks like he's entering shedding season because as a puppy, they can have really soft fur and then eventually it gets thicker and thicker as they grow into an adult dog. I think because he's growing quite a bit over the past couple of weeks and it's getting quite warm, he's shedding a lot more than normal. And in our session this morning, this is how much I brushed out of him. And he's no less fluffy than normal. What I find is that he sheds the most on his back legs and on, along his spine. His stomach and his chest is actually not that bad. Let me show you how I actually brush him out. To brush him out properly, I take the brush and I use the wide bristles because they're a lot better than the narrow bristles, in my opinion, and on his coat. When I take the brush, there's two ways I want to do the brushing. Along the way that the, his fur uh, grows, which will usually get stuck somewhere around his bum because otherwise his fur is quite short, and then against the way his fur grows. Going against the fur will usually grab a lot more of the matting and of the shedding. But what you want to do is only go in a little bit and then pull up so that you can brush it out and you don't hurt him. Sometimes when I haven't brushed him for about three days, this can take quite a long time because his fur will be knotted. I already told you that I did this this morning and I'm going to do this while I film the video. And you will see that because he's shedding so much, this is how much I collected just from the back right now. This is quite normal in shedding season and it will help you a lot when it comes to visitors coming over and keeping your house clean because brushing is a way for you to collect the fur that he's shedding instead of him uh, kind of getting rid of it naturally on your furniture and on your clothes. What I do afterwards when I collected a bunch of the fur, I take it away and I crunch it into this ball that I showed you earlier and then when I'm done with the session, I throw this away. It's important to get your puppy used to you doing this as early as possible. I started brushing Kurfi kind of the day that we got home. I introduced him to the brush, I let him smell the brush, and whenever I was first brushing him, it was at times when he was sleepy or really tired. That made sure that he wasn't being reactive to the brush and he was being calm while I was brushing him. When he's really active or he's playing, he's not into brushing and that's okay. So pick the right time for your puppy and pick a time that works well for both of you so that you are both calm. If you're struggling to get your puppy used to brushing, I recommend you having them smell the brush and then giving a treat, having the brush touch them lightly like this and giving a treat and slowly prolonging the intervals over which you give treats. aspect of chow chow care is taking care of their eyes and their ears. That their eyes, their ears and their skin are the three most prone areas to any health issues. What I do about once a week is I go and clean his ears. What can happen is that their ears will naturally uh, acquire a little bit of earwax in the top of their ear. The, again, one of the things you want to get your puppy used to is you touching their ears. So if I move the camera over, 
He's currently enjoying a chew on the couch, which is not why I don't want to disturb him too much. However, what you'll see is that Kurfi is really used to me touching his ears, and he's super comfortable with me doing that. What I do when I clean his ears is I take one of these cotton balls that we got on Amazon, and I'll spread it apart a little bit, and I'll put a bit of water on there. I will also get some treats because I want him to associate any of these cares as a positive thing and not be scared. So right now I'm going to give him a treat and then I'm going to take the wet cotton ball and just brush it on the top of the inside of his ear. And the same I'm going to do with his other side while he's nice and calm. Go oh boy. It's important not to go too deep into the ear because for that you can get actual cleaners from the vets. This cleaning is just to get the earwax from the top of the ear nice and clean. Every dog's ears will take a different time to actually need to have this done, and I'm trying to get him used to doing this as soon as possible. It's possible also that sometimes more earwax and dirt will collect towards the inner side of the ear. For that, it's best to go to your vet who can also provide a specialist ear cleaner that you can use for that purpose. The last thing that we really need to do, and I do this daily or multiple times a day, is to clean his eyes. Chows are really prone to entropion, which is an eye issue where their eyelids get inverted or their kind of fat and face rolls roll into their eyes and that infects the eye and then they can't see properly and they're in a lot of pain. For that reason, it's important not only to clean the eyes properly, but also to check them daily to make sure that you catch any signs of anything abnormal as fast as possible. What I do with his eyes is that I again take one of these cotton balls and wet it and I will wipe around his eyes where he's tearing. I notice that he has a little bit more of this wetness and tearing along his face after intense playtime or after a walk or any kind of bigger activity or also during teasing. When he was teasing a lot about three weeks ago, his tearing was really bad and we had it checked by the vet and they said so far everything's looking fine. I've been checking it since then, and what I've found is that whenever he wakes up from a nap or he wakes up in the morning, his eyes are completely clear, which is a great sign. And it's only during the day, during these kind of vigorous activities, that the tearing gathers up. Along with the fur, the eyes, and the ears, it's also important to take care of something that has to do with their fur. Whenever they drink water, they will accumulate a bit of wetness on their chin, and it's important to wipe that as soon as possible. It's quite likely their chin will be constantly wet and that can lead to infections or it can smell really bad. What I found also helps a lot is brushing out the chin whenever they let you because that will help it kind of dry sooner. It's also great to get your child used to a hair dryer as soon as possible because then when they get really wet in the chin, you can just take a hair dryer and do that really quickly. So far, Kofi is scared of the hair dryer, but the way I've been trying to get him accustomed to it is drying my own hair while he's in the room so that he understands that the hairdryer is not a monster. We hope that you learned a little bit about what we do on a weekly basis in terms of taking care of our Chow Chow Gurfi, and that you can also share some of your best tips in the comments. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye!